when you're planning your video, one thing you want to keep in mind is how's the video going to flow? Basically, the story. Every video needs to have a story, even if it's something like a lecture video. A lecture has a beginning, a middle, and an end. So you need to think about that for your video. Of course, if you're actually telling a story, then it's very obvious you need to have a beginning, middle, and end. But it's easy to forget exactly how to arrange that and make it clear. So a key point is, what is the story of your video? What story are you trying to tell? Let's take a look at this basic idea. Remember, the goal of this class is to avoid doing something bad, really bad. So by having a story, you create a situation where your video will be less boring, less annoying to people. Now, how do we do that? Well, let's take a look at this here. I just randomly kind of grabbed three pictures. I just got these off some art I have. And here's three of them. Do you see a story in these three? Take a look. Is there some kind of story being told here? I think that we could say that, hmm, yeah, it looks like a bit of a story, doesn't it? It looks like at this first one here, something happened. And then this person or someone did some research and then people were happy. So it does look like we have a bit of a story, doesn't it? We have a beginning, a middle, and an end, and it does seem to tell something. And at this beginning here, this looks like somebody we should know. This looks like the person who we think, hey, this should be the main star of our story. This should be the person who's doing something. This should be the person who's our hero. And then probably this is our hero here, where he's solving the problem somehow and then everyone is happy. So a hero is a key part of your story. Of course you could just say the star, the main character, or we can just say someone is going to do something, right? So your video story is basically those three things plus a hero. The beginning, the middle, and the end, and usually at the beginning we see who is the hero. You can try this for yourself. Just grab three pictures and see if you can put them together and make a story. Or why don't you just go ahead and make three boxes and draw a little stick figures or draw something and make a little story. A beginning, a middle, and an end with a hero. Now, of course, big movies always have this, don't they? Big movies always have heroes. But does our little video need a hero? And the key answer is we need someone in the video or something in the video that we're focused on that this we know is the main point. Didn't you ever have that experience where you watch a commercial and the commercial begins and it ends and you have no idea what the commercial's for or what it's about? Now, of course, that's a strategy for marketing and we could talk about that another day. But it is a little bit frustrating, isn't it? That's only 30 seconds of your life. Imagine if it's three, four, or five minutes and you're still kind of a little bit confused, what is this about? So I think it's very important that, especially my students, they like to tell stories slowly and build up. But in video, we like to right at the beginning, get the main point, the main person, the hero, and it could be a device, it could be a car, it could be a, a food. It doesn't have to be a person, but we call it the hero that is the main subject. So let's take a look at my simple crazy example, right? It looks like we have a hero at the beginning, we see, solves a problem and everybody's happy. Okay, that kind of makes some sense, right? What if I went ahead and I changed that order to be this order? Same pictures, it's the same photos, only now I've put my hero at the beginning, so this looks like my hero here. Yes, my hero is doing something. He's researching something. Then it looks like he goes to some place, like a nuclear power plant. He has to wear this protective equipment and he executes something. And then people are happy. 
So we have the beginning and the middle. And in the middle, something always happens. They need to do something. Do, do something, right? Just do it. Something gets done. So beginning, middle, and end. And the middle is something to do. Okay, so story. That is beginning, middle, and end with a hero. Even a documentary, even a little commercial, even telling you, even a lecture like this, I have a beginning, middle, and end. Part of my end now is to go to the hardware table. So let's jump over to the hardware table. Okay, here we are in the table of hardware. So what hardware am I gonna look at today? Well, I'm gonna look at something that is really boring, but super critical, and that is these little things here on the ends of wires that you've often seen. And these are called jacks. These are called jacks. Now, very quickly, you can see these are probably you're familiar with. You use these kinds of jacks for your headphones when you're listening to music. But there are many kinds of jacks. Let me show you some other kinds, such as this kind here, such as this kind here, such as this here. actually goes with this one here. So let's just quickly go over some of these jacks because it's important to understand the different kinds of connectors or jacks that you need commonly when you're shooting video. So let me go over them very quickly and you can kind of follow along and uh, this is not too painful. Hang in there. Let's start with the most common. I think this is the one everybody knows. These are 1 8 inch jacks, 1 8 also called mini connectors, mini jacks. We use those in our headphones and you can see on there it has two lines, two black lines, two black lines. That means that this is carrying stereo, left and right audio signal, two black lines. If your jack has one black line, like this one here, then this is mono, not stereo, mono. That is just one audio signal. You can see here, this is again, this is going to be my 1 8 inch jack. But here's another one maybe you've seen, you've probably seen this one at home maybe. This is called a quarter inch jack. Often this is used in your KTV setup, right, to hook up a microphone. And then there's another kind of jack that we sometimes see, and that's this one here, which is round and has a protuberance out there in the center there. And this is mono, this is not stereo, it carries one signal. And this is called an RCA jack, RCA jack. Now, why are all of these jacks important? Because we often use these when we're doing our audio. So it's very normal, you'll have a microphone, for example, a microphone that looks something like this, but then the microphone ends in a jack that looks something like this. Now, how do you get this into your camera when your camera may have a smaller jack? So for example, this is a one quarter inch. This is a one eighth inch. I go to the hardware store and I can buy an adapter. I can change this quarter inch to an eighth inch, quite simply. Let me show you that. So if you're in Hong Kong, Taiwan, China, this is really easy to do because you can go to any electronic store and they just sell these things by the bag full very cheaply, very easily. Of course, I can also use this RCA jack and I have an adapter here. So this is an adapter from RCA to quarter inch 
Now I'm going to adapt quarter inch to one eighth inch. And here is quarter inch <laughs> going in here. It's kind of made a bit of a circle. Yeah. So those are the most common jacks you would be using in your production. But let me show you one more and that's this jack here which is called an XLR jack. Maybe you've seen this in your KTV setup if you have a very high-end KTV setup. And this is also for audio. And it's very common with microphones, especially good quality microphones. So if you have a microphone, let me get a wire here out of my hardware. You may have a microphone and you attach your microphone to the XLR jack like this. Right. Just like that. I'm sure you've seen that. And then this goes into the machine, which could be our video recorder. Now, your video recorder is probably not going to have an XLR jack. It could but it would have to be a pretty expensive high-end device, not very normal. So what do we want to do? We want to change this to something our camera can use. So for example, if I'm using this Sony camera here, this camera does have a little jack in it, but it's not XLR. This jack is actually a little tiny, what would that be? That's a eight inch mini jack. And I can show you because I can plug that in there like that. Right? Like that. There we go. So that's probably pretty common. That's probably what you've got. So how can I get this XLR into there? Well, I can go to the hardware store and buy some adapter. So here's an adapter that takes the XLR and turns it into an RCA, for example, or I could turn it into an eighth inch or a quarter inch and then just plug that in. So you can buy adapters at the hardware store very easily. Now, if you live in America, then of course you could probably just buy it on Amazon or something like that. But in, in Asia, especially in Taiwan, it's super easy to go to the store. So there's a great example of why you need some time ahead to get your equipment all ready. And of course, probably you've seen things like this, which are these cables like this, right? So let me just show that to you. If you look at these, you can see we've got a few different jacks. We've got the eight inch jack, which has, in this case, three black lines. Why three black lines? Because it has stereo, and then it also, in this case, is carrying a video signal also, so three signals. Then it comes out to be video and audio. The audio is here and the video is on this line. And you've probably seen these before when you bought your camera, your camera probably came with something just like this. What are these? These are the RCA jacks or in Taiwan or China, we often call them AV, AV jacks. So you can use these to convert, usually this will be out of your camera and into a television or into another recording device but you can also use them in the other direction from a microphone and into your camera. So that is the jacks. Another time when we get time, we're gonna look at something like this, which is a little tiny mixer. And you can see on here, which is really cool, which you can buy, lots of machines have this kind of stuff. You can see the machine actually has some input for 1 8 inch right there. Headphone 8 inch jack, micro. But then on the back, what do we have here? We have XLR, and we also have RCA. So well, that's our hardware. Those are some jacks and some connectors. Keep them in mind. Go to the hardware store. When you buy some, buy some extra, buy some different types, just in case. You need to connect two or three together to get that connection working. There's nothing worse than you end up, you're ready to shoot. And then what happens? 
oh, I can't connect my microphone to the camera. I have no way to connect to the video. I have no way to connect these two wires. That is a nightmare, and you have to basically lose a whole day of your effort when that happens. So get those together. And remember, story, story, story. You want to keep that story in mind, right? Beginning, middle, and end with a hero involved, a main topic, a main person. All right, good luck.